this store looks fantastic and they are having an incredible sale on the clothing. My problems are that one, I don't have a ton of time. This is gonna be a power hour. Two, I'm pretty much out of room in my suitcase, so. Either I really pare down what I get or I have to find another suitcase. shirt. Very rare and special shirt. <laughs> Let's 
They do have fitting rooms, which is awesome. Oh my god, I love this. It's really fun. but I don't know if I'd be able to get it home safely. Very cool. the luggage I don't know I might need a bag <laughs> a successful power hour I think I've got a cart full to sort and uh, I think we got to see a little sample of a lot of the store I hope <laughs> this is a place I would come back to for sure so maybe we will come thrift here again someday but uh, for now I I gotta get going, so I'm gonna check out and we will do a haul from home next. I'm so glad I got a chance to pop into that thrift store. I really liked it in there. It's kind of like right in my vibe of having enough stuff that you can dig a little bit. There's a good variety. There's not an overwhelmingly huge savers type of thrift store. They got some really cool donations too. And we got lucky because obviously we walked in on a clothing sale day, so all the clothing was only $1.50. I feel like I could have gone really ham in there, <laughs> but at this point, like I mentioned, was running out of room in my suitcase. And of course, I always wanna be like mindfully thrifting and selecting the stuff that I know I'm either really going to wear or that people have been requesting from my shop. So anyway, let me show you what I ended up with. I grabbed two of those vintage 90s skirts, this kind of tiered velvet one, these velvet maxi skirts I am loving for the fall because I actually go with so many different things and you can sort of do a lot of different like style aesthetic mixing with the velvet. Like this one with all the jewel tones would look cool with like something really warm on top like a warm colored sweater or of course always like a black and white graphic tee. And honestly I've never seen one in this style before. I kind of had trouble styling this one with stuff from my personal closet. I don't know, I wanted to go like kind of witchy and uh, fall, like a witchy date night thing. A little bit Stevie Nicks or something, but I don't know. 
And then the other skirt is just this really classic floral midi skirt. 90s vibes, style it with Doc Martin boots and you're good to go. This one has the cute buttons that go down the side. this really cute, fun, vintage fringe cardigan. I'm not sure how the color showing up, but it is a light kind of peachy pink, cute floral embroidery. And of course, like the fringe detail is kind of everything. I'm not totally sure if I could rock this, but this is exactly the type of unique pieces that I would pick up and sell in my shop too. So we're gonna see what happens with it. I also have a couple of stains to treat to make sure it's in really good shape. Cute little cotton sleeveless button up, kind of cottage core slash western vibes. You could style it up either way, I think. A little denim and floral mix that's so cute. Kind of a great end of summer transition into fall piece, I think, too. This one had a tag because I'd love to confirm if this is really a 60s or 70s vintage piece is what it looks like to me. A little bit granola hippie style. And it's kind of a rescue because it does have some staining. So I was kind of hoping that I could put some love into it, get the stains out and then find it a good home. And then I got a couple of vintage dresses on this sale. Ugh, this adorable 50s style A-line dress. It's got the tulle and crinoline skirt under there giving it some volume. And then here we've got a pink satin piping around and on the straps. Be darling. And then we have this handmade dress. It's cool like 70s psychedelic print looking to me but it's handmade so I don't know for sure if it is a vintage style it's definitely a really good plus size though so i thought someone could have a lot of fun styling that definitely harder for me anyway to find something in this kind of cool vintage or retro pattern in a really good plus size so there's no tag on it i mean this type of fabric does look it does look vintage to me but anyway it's cute into the penny lane hippy dippy and the last piece I picked up at the register behind the counter I spotted this vintage bag I think it's a 1960s bag can you imagine like the story behind this one the leather is so worn in it has this braided leather crossbody strap the silver concho details. The closure is just like an oversized safety pin. And the safety pins have a buffalo nickel. And it has a matching wallet, which has like a little buffalo nickel design. 
This fabric colorway is super cool. This is, part is in really good condition too. The rest of it definitely needs a little bit of cleaning up or personally I kind of like how worn in it is. Like it's just so loved. Let's open this other side. Actually, I actually haven't opened this other side yet. There could be more in here. No, there's not. <laughs> Such a good haul, I think. Let me know what your thoughts were of that thrift store and the pieces I picked. And thank you as always for thrifting with me. I will look forward to doing it again next week with a new video.